No spider is known than the dangerous black widow, whose poison is 10 times as strong as that of a rattlesnake. The black widow is easily recognized by her coal black body and red hourglass marking. The hourglass is usually exposed because the black widow hangs upside down from her web. She belongs to the family Theradiidae, the comb-footed spiders. The black widow is a menace on five continents. In years when warm weather is prolonged, her numbers increase. She's a constant dweller in many places around homes or other structures. The widow usually attaches her web in dark corners or within untidy accumulations. When it's cleanup time, in particular, it's well to be cautious as the black widow's bite can cause serious illness and sometimes death. The black widow subsists on various insects, such as this cockroach. She encases her victims with silk and then kills with poison from her fangs. The fangs are hollow and about a fiftieth of an inch long. They're fed by unusually large poison sacs. The widow's web is irregular and without apparent design. A human hair next to a strand of web is huge by comparison. Black widow silk has 12 times the tensile strength of steel. During World War II, it was used in gun sights and other optical instruments. The male spider is much smaller than the female and is not considered to be dangerous. His palpi store the fluid to fertilize the widow's eggs. The male vibrates the web to attract the widow. Usually she does not attack the male as he tries to secure her with his own ineffective web. Only when prompted by strong hunger does the black widow kill and eat the male after mating. Fertilized eggs and the black widow's body takes on a swollen appearance. Just before laying her eggs, the black widow spins the top half of an egg sac. Egg laying begins with the deposit of a large globule of sticky substance, which will hold the eggs together until the widow is ready to complete the egg sac. There are 188 eggs in this batch, but the number laid at one time may reach 1,000. Black Widow lays about twice each month during the warm weather season. The Widow now completes her egg sac. To make it water resistant and secure from almost all insect predators, she covers it with a tough, close woven web. The egg sac can be moved for greater security or temperature control. The black widow is particularly dangerous for several days after laying and will readily attack in defense of her eggs. The substance which binds the eggs together evaporates within two hours, allowing the eggs to separate. The eggs appear smooth and polished, 
like a clump of small pearls. Each egg is perfectly formed. The immature spiderling develops in about three weeks and breaks through the egg skin. Here it remains like an image in wax, awaiting the first molt. This first molt is completed within a week. Weather determines how long the spiderlings will remain inside the egg sac. Before emerging, the spiderlings shed their skin a second time. When they're ready to leave, the spiderlings help each other chew a hole in the egg sac. Once they are out, the spiderlings spin a network of webs as a means of escape and separation. Until the third molt, males and females look alike. Each spiderling will seek his own shelter and his own food. gradually takes on color as the spider develops. Food stimulates growth in the young widow who must molt six or seven times before she is mature. This last molt takes the longest. During each molting process, the widow is immobilized and defenseless. The soft new skin must harden. It will be several hours before the widow recovers her full agility and her coal black coloring. The full cycle from egg to mature black widow ranges from several months to a year depending upon the widow's food supply. Now, let us look at the black widow's enemies. Three are well known. The praying mantis, the alligator lizard, and the mud dauber wasp. These are minor enemies who may use the widow for food, and all are not uncommon denizens of the backyard. One of the most important and devastating enemies of the black widow is a tiny fly called Pseudogorax signata. This canny visitor alights on the widow's egg sac without disturbing the spider. Almost at once, the fly lays a batch of eggs. Five days, the eggs hatch into maggots. Each maggot burrows through the egg sac and punctures a widow's egg. Size of the maggots increases rapidly during the seven or eight days that they take to consume the eggs. When all of the black widow's eggs have been eaten, the maggots pupate. This process is another of nature's great wonders. Within three hours, the maggot produces a hard pupil case. The astonishing change that takes place in this phase of the life cycle is known as metamorphosis. For 10 days, cradled by the egg sac of the black widow, the pupa lies motionless. Then Pseudogorax signata, the tiny fly, the arch enemy of the black widow, is ready to emerge. A soft membrane in the head inflates with air and pressure splits the pupal case.
the struggle through the egg sac is soon ended. Nature has begun another new life cycle. into her own world, a world from which man, with all his intelligence and research, has much to learn.